I know we're just being dramatic. We're not just being dramatic. We are just being dramatic. We're not just being dramatic. We're not just being dramatic. I don't know what to say. No. I just know that we need to we need to let it out and we got some noodles that wanna shut it down. We got some noodles that just wanna stop our bawling and go into the other room with Jim and just pretend everything's okay. We we can't keep doing that. We can't keep pretending. We need to let it out. We need to process it. We need to grow from this. We can't just keep we can't just keep pretending everything's fine. <laughs> but we were fine, right? Weren't we fine earlier this week? Weren't we fine even after that psychiatrist appointment on Thursday? So what's wrong? What happened? Why are we why are we not okay this morning? What happened? What happened? <laughs> I know. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what I know. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what I know. Oh my gosh! I need like a box of tissue right next to my bed. This is nuts. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what happened. This is what I know. This is what I understand. I know we woke up feeling scared, and we weren't really sure why. I know we felt like there was somebody in the room with us, and even though there wasn't, and. I remember feeling small. I remember feeling really, really small. And I just wanted to be held. I just wanted to be held. And so, um... I went to the bed. And I crawled. I crawled in his bed. But his dog... His dog was on the pillow next to him. Like a person. Like a human. <laughs> Her head resting on the pillow, and her legs all spread long like a human. Not all curled up. Like, she was taking up the whole bed. And he's on one side, and she's on that side, and he's been sleeping. He's just been sleeping on his side of the bed ever since we left the master bedroom. And it always gives us a space to go lay down next to him, unless his dog's on his bed. Well, anyways... That's Riley. So Riley was snoozing away and we climbed up in the bed and we put our head on Riley's butt. You know, so we're laying on Riley now because she's, she's taking up the whole bed and her feet are next to our shoulders and we're laying on her butt and we're facing husband and The next part is not for children's ears, so this is your warning. It might even be triggering. We woke up with something in our mouth. If you know what I mean. But we still felt so very small. There wasn't a whole lot of... logic going on, but I do recall feeling super small, and I do recall having the suckling type motion, like, it felt like I wanted to suck a pacifier or a bottle. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's one of them that's already come come forward or if this is somebody new but we felt so very small and so very so very soothed to have something in our mouth and it wasn't like a full thing it wasn't like you know a mouthful it was just a little bit of a tip right so we recognize we have the memory of sucking on just the tip, fully clothed, like it wasn't, it wasn't, and then I think that's when he started to wake up, 
because I don't think that's what he meant. It just happened to be because of Riley and it happened to be because of where our head was positioned and it and it happened to be like maybe an hour half an hour later so it wasn't like right away it just happened to be where we were where we ended up for some reason i don't know i don't know if somebody in the system got close to it and then started sucking and that's or and that's when we started remembering or if i don't think he did it i think he's a, i think he's asleep the whole time until he felt the sucking and then it just felt really dirty and it felt really wrong and it felt like that's not what we wanted and it felt like it wasn't it felt like it wasn't what we wanted and so pinky took it from there pinky is the sexual alter and she could tell that he was excited to wake up to that and instead of him recognizing that there's anything wrong he probably just thought it was a surprise that pinky was doing and pinky pinky took over at that point and enjoyed herself with him right up until we started to gag and i think that's when green came in and green is our 14 year old that lives in a fantasy world and she was head over heels for this boy. Maybe this is where it all stems from, is remembering that boy last night with Orange, and I just wanted him to love me. I just wanted him to love me, and I knew he wouldn't unless I went down on him. That's what he kept pushing me to do, so I did, and when I didn't like that very much and I didn't want to do it anymore, he started to ignore me, and he started to Make, make excuses on why he wouldn't talk to me or even look at me. <laughs> so I fell in love with him when I was 14 and from 14 and 15 and 16 and even 17 years old. I I always, I always went down on him every time I saw him <laughs> because, because that was love, right? That was love. That's how I got his love. He would ignore me unless I did that. And, and to this day, I still love him, and even though I'm not with him, I'm not married to him, I don't see him, I don't talk to him. But... I'm... I'm the one that fell in love with Jim. Hoping that I could have my little family and we could live happily ever after and that he would love me and I would love him and he would take care of me and I would take care of him and even my husband doesn't want anything to do with me he hasn't wanted to do it he hasn't wanted to talk to me he hasn't wanted to listen to me or learn about me I keep writing him post-it notes. We all keep writing him post-it notes. We keep going into his room. We keep waiting patiently for his time and his attention. And he's he's so annoyed. He's so annoyed that we keep coming in there. And we're not stealing any of his time. But he knows that we want to talk. He knows that we want him to get to know us. And he doesn't want to. He's going through his own crap, I guess. And so we just keep waiting patiently. And we keep going and laying down next to him in the middle of the night. And He's cold and he's insensitive and he's just, he's just like that boy. He's just like him. He's just rejecting us. And so when I started to gag during the blowjob, he, um, he enjoyed every part of what Pinky started. And so I finished, but I hated it. I hated it the whole time. Pinky may have liked it, but I didn't. Pinky may have been fine with it, but I'm not. 
And I only did it to get his love when I was a boy, and I only do it to get my husband's love now. And I don't like that about us. I don't like that because it's not love, right? So he finishes, and it's gross. And so I rush to the bathroom, and I spit it out in the sink and rinse my mouth out, and... And I start crying in the bathroom. <laughs> but Indigo says we need to be tough. We can't let him know that there's anything wrong or he won't want to talk to us. Right? And we just need to be by ourselves right now. We need to be, we need to be, we need to talk and we need to get it out. And he, Indigo, Indigo's just tough, right? Indigo just is can't let anybody know that we're hurt right now. We can't let anybody know that we're on the verge of falling apart. And we're tired, right? It's early in the morning. And so I lay down on the pillow next to my husband. Um, the dog is gone at this point. I don't know what happened to her. She must have not wanted to be around if um, we're getting freaky in the bed. You know what I mean? And so I lay my head on the pillow. And husband curls up right next to me, holds me and loves me and everything. And I just went, <laughs> I get a chuckle just like that. And he says, what? And I was just, just about to say, hmm, knew it. I knew that if we went sexual with it, I knew that if Pinky went sexual with it, then you'd finally love me. Then you'd finally give me your arms wrapped around me when I would lie in your bed. I've been lying in his bed almost every night this week. But he won't even get close to me or touch me or hold my hand or anything. There's no kisses goodbye. There's no I love yous when he hangs up the phone. Like, there's nothing. He is so cold lately. And sure enough, as soon as we, as soon as soon he finishes and gets what he wants, then I'm right next to him in his arms. All of a sudden. And I was just about ready to say that. Indigo stops me. Indigo says, no. Nope. No good will come from it. Don't say a dang thing. And then I just felt mint. Mint is our mint is our newest, our loudest, our newest, I don't know how to say it, but she's the reason why we're all out. She's the one that found the key. She's the one that screamed loud enough to get Crystal to hear us and to retire Kathy. She's the one that wanted to speak her truth and screamed as loud as she could a couple years ago. And that's when we started to listen. That's when we made our truth book. We made our truth book. Every day we made we made a truth. In our in our Instagram account, we made a truth until until we were done speaking our truth. And then we started to work on our truth. Not just speaking it. We wanted to like actually do it. Anyways, I heard Mint say, um that this is not the life we want, Indigo. We either get to speak our truth or we aren't going to be with this. We're not going to be with him. We aren't going to be in this room. We aren't going to give him what he wants if we're not allowed to speak our truth. And then, of course, I'm like, we just lay here. I'm getting my love. I'm getting my love. I'm getting my love. He's hugging me. He's loving me. But I'm not enjoying it. I'm trying to enjoy it. I'm, I'm finally getting what I want. I'm trying to enjoy it. But... I think it does suck that it took it took what it took in order to get it. I've been talking a really long time. Anyways, we started to do roll roll. We started to do roll call in our headspace as we were lying there in his arms, and we started to reach some real wow things about us, and we didn't want to forget what we were experiencing so we just left we says we gotta go write some stuff down and we took his arm off of us and then we left and now we wrote some stuff down and I was just gonna read what I wrote Saturday September 26 morning after Jim please listen black and white says Life is so hard. I'm not good at this. I'm no good at this. 
please help me believe in myself. Magenta, I mean, Maroon. Maroon says, I know I'm weird. I don't want to be rejected for it. Can you accept me? Red says, I control things when I feel out of control. I still matter. Peach says, I work harder on my mental health than anything else because I want to be the best mom I can be. Orange says, I'm doing my best to buck up and get my shit together. This one, I know it looks orange, but it's, it's my only gold marker. It says, I know I'm good. Please believe in me. Yellow says, if I focus hard enough on the positive, this will magically melt away. This one says, if I just listen to Jim, all is okay. That's line. All right, and then um, green says, I just want his love, nothing more. And then this one's me. I meant I need to feel safe to speak my truth. And then this one's teal. It says, I have all the solutions. Just ask me. And then this one says, there must be s something wrong with me. That's cyan blue. And then this one's indigo. He just says, I'm okay. And purple says, leave us alone. And then lilac. You can't really read it. It says, doomed either way. Can you tell we started with pinky and magenta and then we started writing up here and so now when it comes to these three we had this we had to smush it on one page so that lilac says doomed either way because remember lilac is the fortune teller so she just knows we're doomed either way and he wants to go be alone and distract us to help us feel better and he just thinks we're fine he likes to just ignore the pain and just pretend we're fine I just got a text message. <laughs> I'm so in love with this boy, right? That, um, I recently, I recently signed up for text messages from his store. That's like two states away. <laughs> he doesn't have an online store. He has a physical store in a physical town. And he's the he's the owner of this store and he has been very successful in this store. And he sends text messages every Saturday about the specials. And I signed up for his little stupid text messages and while I'm reading, just before I'm ready to read pink. <laughs> I get the stupid text message that says what the special is for the day. Let's see if I can see it. 50% off protein drink shakes. 50% off all wild harvest brand items. Pearl, soy, milk. <laughs> um, 50 cents. All Annie protein bars. $1.00. Cascadian farm granola bars one dollar, grape seed oil two dollars. Text stop to end. Everything in my body, every noodle in my head is telling me that I need to text stop to those text messages because we aren't anywhere near his store. So if we really were signed up for his text messages to Sorry, if we were really signed up for his text messages because we wanted to support his store and shop there, that'd be one thing. We might be able to hide behind that, but we all know that there's absolutely no reason to be signed up for his text messages. That's just silly. That just shows obsession. Green. We don't need to be obsessed about it. I know you know this. So.
So I have a noodle telling me to look something up because we have another reason why we're signed up for the text messages. So we're looking up our notes. We're looking up our notes. Okay, you can cut this out, Crystal. Let me just read the last little bit of... Um, we got Pinky and Magenta, and we're done. Pink says, I only get love if I have sex. And then this one says, please, me, please prove me wrong. That's what she's asking for. And then Magenta says, I'm so angry and I can't tell you. I need a safe release. Hi. So I guess I just switched in. Everybody got their stuff out. As soon as I read Magenta's right now, I just went straight to what do we got to do next? And I think it's good that we're all coming out and expressing ourselves. That we're exploring what's going on with us, that we're not hiding behind a computer screen or, you know, Netflix series or something. Like, we're not... Um, we're not zoning out, we're tapping in. We're tapping into our to our deepest part of ourselves. And rather than sit in a cesspool of bacteria, you know, toxic anger or toxic sadness or toxic gunk, rather than sitting in it and stewing in it and bathing in it, we're processing through it. We got to get through it in order to get to the other side of the forest, you've got to go through the forest. So that's what I feel like we're doing. So rather than sitting in all these feelings right now, um, we do feel better that we got them out. We've, everybody feels so much better that we were able to express ourselves and nobody felt shoved aside for somebody else's noodleness. Every noodle got to express themselves. And yeah, I feel like I can move forward with the morning. I feel I feel pretty decent. I don't feel full of anxiety. I don't feel full of conflict. And that's usually what I feel when there's some noodle inside that is aching to speak, aching to express. But right when I, right before I hit record, I realized something that I'm going to need to do right away. Of course, at this point, you've probably already seen it because I'm going to do it now. I'm not going to wait for this video to post. But what I'm going to do from these from this point forward, so any videos after September 26 that get posted. Today's the 26, so I'll post 26 today. Oh no, I still have some, shoot, I still have some videos that are created but not posted. So basically anyways, maybe they're October videos. But any, okay, I'm, I'm giving you all the details in my brain, but what I'm trying to say is... Um, We have been struggling to figure out what kind of channel we want to be, right? We knew right away we weren't going to be educational. We don't have any education in this to give you any solid anything. We don't even know how solid we are in ourselves, especially because we weren't presenting exactly like other DID systems were. And because we haven't been diagnosed, we didn't want to claim DID. And then we started learning about OSDD and we felt like that was closer to what we were experiencing, but we didn't understand a whole lot 
between the 1A and the 1B. And as we just kept going, we kept calling it 1A until we recognized how reckless that was. If we're going to represent ourselves as 1A, we didn't want to put out false information. So we didn't want other people to feel invalidated with their own 1A understandings if we weren't 1A. So we don't want to represent ourselves as 1A until we're confirmed as 1A. You understand what I'm trying to say? OSDD 1A. So we started the process to get evaluated and that's been several weeks going so far. And because you're just now watching this, um, I know today in your world is not September 26th. So by the time you watch this video, I sure hope we've come a long ways since September 26th, but I recognize the type of channel we need to be is not necessarily a trauma dumping channel, but a trauma processing channel. We want to show you how we are getting through this, not every detail of every second of every vlog and stuff like that, but whatever multiplicity, plurality, whatever whatever space on the spectrum we sit at. Is that the right way of saying that? If DID is a spectrum and there's some dissociation over here, but no plurality, and then there's complete uh, overt plurality with disassociation over here for DID, I don't think we're this far over, right? But we might be over here with some identity um, alter that aren't that distinct but yet still distinct. So we're not far over here and we're not far over here, but I think we're somewhere, I think we're somewhere like right here. We're not really in the middle either. We're kind of more like right here as an OSDD 1A or maybe something else. And also I wonder if because we've done so much work and so much trauma healing and so much inner uh, headspace work and, and self-hypnosis, our amnesia walls are coming down and we're co-fronting most of the time. Um, most of the time during stressful situations unless unless we're not but i don't know i don't really know anymore because it's still it's still really fuzzy and, and not so very clear anyways we're being really long-winded and really rambly this morning but as you can tell it's been a really difficult morning so that's when you're going to get your longer videos depending on how much we want to cut out at a later time when we go to review and when we go to review we listen to ourselves we we speak to ourselves and look at red's trying to control by picking at our skin yes okay so we're gonna go now um and we'll talk to you later oh that's what i was gonna say and that means i'm gonna change the intros starting today on any new videos that i edit probably for the month of october okay now i can say goodbye